I'm gonna call it finger washer. I don't know what it's called. I don't know the proper name of it. The old shit handle out. Hopefully it don't cause any problems. If it does, well, I got some box tape left. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be working on my Duramax. My last video, I went to back in this garage door you can see this one's shorter than this one well i had my airbags aired up on the back and turns out my truck don't fit very well so what happened was i caught that little antenna right there and now it's all floppy So what I did was put some box tape around it for now because it was raining. Hoping to keep water out so it don't stain my headliner. So what I'm gonna do is drop the headliner down a little bit and see if it's broke or if something's tightened. I'm gonna guess it's broke. I think how we're gonna do this is probably remove that pillar Unclip this, remove my sun visors, take this pillar off, and I'm guessing this one right here. And that should allow the headliner to drop down on this corner without binding and creasing it. I hate doing headliners. I'm always scared of them. For one, getting them dirty, and for two, creasing them. So... I'll go ahead and set you guys up, do a little time lapse while I'm trying to figure this out. Well, the job's already done, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what tools you need before you get started. I used a battery ratchet, Milwaukee. Makes it a little easier getting two. I think I'll use it for the actual antenna bolt and the seatbelt bolt. The seatbelt bolt is a T50 Torx bit. The antenna is a 10 millimeter. I used the shallow and my ratchet. Uh, it was kind of tight, but it worked. A regular ratchet probably worked just fine. Then a seven millimeter deep oil on a screwdriver. There was a couple seven millimeter bolts for the trim pieces. Then I had to use a I had to use a T15 for the other screws. I had to use a flat screwdriver to pop some of the little covers off for the screws. A flashlight. It wasn't really needed, but it kind of helped looking in the headliner, I guess. Then I used a body hammer and body dolly. I used that to get a dent out up top. Then this right here was to try to get a dent out, but I cannot do that. You'll see later on in the video. This I used to scrape some of the residue from the box tape off that I used to seal up my antenna. A pen to point at stuff for you guys. And a GoPro so you can watch it.
So I ended up taking the rubber seal off, the pillar, the sun visor, the sun visor holder, the dome light assembly, the sun visor holder. I didn't take the sun visor all the way off. It'd probably make it easier taking that off than the pillar, but you don't have to. Then I took this, the between the door pillar off. This way it can bend down a little more. I'm able to see it. It's right there where the tip of my finger is. It looks like it's a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and show you guys what happened to it. There is a plug, so remember that. All right, so here's the assembly. Um, you got a rubber gasket here on the outside and a foam gasket right here in the middle. When you go to take this off, this black this black plastic piece right here it's supposed to go around this little nipple. I went to try to pull it out with Neely's pliers and ended up snapping off. The piece that goes over top of this nipple is still in there. I think what that is is a guide pin and that plastic piece is to prevent it from rattling, I'm guessing. But the foam seal looks good. The rubber gasket looks good. Now how this tightens up is 
And this nut right here, or bolt, sorry, goes up like this. Then these little fingers press against your roof. So I don't know if you can make that out, but this one is basically straight. So what I'm going to do is bend these back down. It's kind of hard. Grab some pliers and just, oh geez. All right, I'm going to take this off of the bolt. And try to hold it with pliers here. And then, <clears throat> and then try to bend those up. I don't know how far they should go. Uh, that one don't look terrible, but I put a little bend to it. Okay. So now it should tighten up nice. And when you go tighten this up, you probably shouldn't tighten it all the way up, I don't think. You want these to start bending, but not fully collapse them. I'm guessing. It's got Loctite on the bolt, so it shouldn't work itself back out. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this back up there. I'm going to clean it up first. I'm going to clean it up, and my roof is kind of bowed out right here now from where it got bent back so i'm gonna grab a hammer and tap on that a little bit kind of flatten it back out and get all that nasty stuff off her so as you can see the the rubber gas scale on the outside does not seal it up i'll show you what i mean if you look at my dirt mark there's a void right there so that means water is able to go down underneath this. That foam gasket is what seals it up. So make sure that's all clean so it seals up good. You think they would have a void here also. So since the roof's slanted, a lot of water can drain back out. But then again, I guess that causes wind noise. So we we'll go ahead and do that. There's that black plastic piece I was talking about. It don't go to anything on bottom. I don't know why it didn't pop out. It's like really in there. Maybe this and that other black plastic thing that's still in the antenna is supposed to stay. I don't know. Okay, I got it pretty well cleaned up. There's still some crud on there, but I don't really feel it. I got most of this hump out. I can still feel it slightly, but I'll show you in a second why it's so hard. Um, there's a small dent. All right, the way the light's hitting right now, you can kind of see it. Goes along with the curvature of the antenna. But I cannot get to that one. And this side right here, I can't get to very well. The reason for that is, you can see the hole right there. There's a support running through there. So I can't get to the back side of it. I was able to get uh, three quarters of that circle straightened out. And how I did that was I put this dolly on the back of it. It's a body dolly. And you just press up against it, and then you tap the other side with a hammer, and it keeps it pretty straight. So it's pretty well straightened out. It should not leak. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in place. 
That old plastic thing, I finally got it out. I don't know what it is. I think I'm gonna try to put it on the antenna and then put it down the hole. Just so there ain't no vibrations, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and I'll show you guys what I'm done. First, I don't mind my blue toolbox. I painted a truck in here last week. But second of all, I got this put up in there and it was still loose. So I took it back out. Well, I saw what was happening. And so this sits like that. And then this presses against your body. And as you can see, there's still a decent gap right here. So I'm guessing this, the gap is too big in spots. So I'm going to make this touch the gasket. And then after I put the roof metal in between there, it should be nice and tight. So I'm just going to grab a hold of it again and bend it. And I'll keep checking it before I put it up in there. All right, that should work right there. I know you guys can't really focus in enough, but it's actually past the foam gasket. So that should give me some nice tension. When, I, when the bolt tightens up in here, it don't press on this. It kind of just uses this as a washer and this kind of holds it. If that makes any sense, I don't know how to really explain it. But I'm gonna put this up there and give it one more try. I was actually able to tighten it up it don't move and it looks like the rubber is touching all around except where it's not right here so it should be good to go i was actually able to that little i'm gonna call it finger washer i don't know what it's called <laughs> but it touched and then i was able to suck it up and it smashed just some some will say it's good and tight and should be ready to put back together Hopefully it don't cause any problems. If it does, well, I got some box tape left. There we go. You can kind of see what I was talking about there, how the finger washer presses against the metal. And there's a little black plastic thing right here. I don't know what it's for still, but it's back in there. And your wiring goes in right above your sun visor. You see the connector right here. It's got a little push pin. You push it and pull it apart. So it's kind of back in there pretty far. So you kind of want as much movement as possible. It probably helped if you took this. I don't know the proper name of it, the old shit handle out. So you're able to get it down far enough on this side. And it probably help out a lot because kind of scratches you up force your arm up in there so let's go ahead and throw it back together and call this job done So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Make sure you like if it helped you any. As you can see, it turned out pretty good, I think. 
shouldn't leak now. Um, if you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe. I like doing how-to videos and hopefully it helps a couple people. If you got any questions, don't be afraid to comment. I try to get back with you guys pretty soon. And if you got any recommendations on other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments too. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.